So we've seen a basic example of how we can form a quadratic inequality using the discriminant. I'm going to go through three examples here of working out the values of k for which each of these equations has two distinct real roots. Now because we have two distinct real roots, that must mean that the discriminant is greater than zero. Okay, so this is the discriminant, this is the inequality that we're going to be substituting into and then solving. So let's look at this first one. So first of all, identify the value of A, B and C. So A will be 1, B will be K and C will be 4K. Okay, and then we're going to substitute those into this discriminant here. So we've got b squared, so k squared minus 4 times 1 times 4k, and that's going to be greater than 0. So k squared minus, now that's going to be 16k is greater than 0. Now this is a quadratic you can factorise into a single bracket, so k times k minus 16 is greater than 0. You then want to sketch that, so that would be going through 0 on the k-axis and 16. So where is this above the k-axis? Well, it's above it there and there. And so the two regions are identified by k is less than 0 and k is greater than 16. And that solves that first problem. Let's look at the second one. So let's have a look at question two. Uh, we have kx squared minus 3x plus k. So first thing we're going to do is identify a, b, and c. So a is going to be equal to k, b will be equal to minus 3, and c will be equal to that k, that bit that's left over there. Okay? So... We're then going to substitute these values into the discriminant. So we have minus 3 squared, take away 4 lots of A, times C. So we have minus 4 times K times K, and that's got to be greater than 0. So we have minus 3 squared, which is 9, take away 4K squared, which is greater than zero. Now this is the difference of two squares. So you can factorise that to be 3 plus 2k and 3 minus 2k greater than zero. So now we can sketch um, the quadratic that comes from this. So it's a parabola that is upside down, okay, because we've got a minus sign in front of the k squared, so it looks like that, and it will be going through um, minus three halves and positive three halves, okay, the solutions to this being equal to zero. So where is the parabola above the k axis? Well, it's above it between these two values. So it is between minus 3 halves and 3 halves, and that solves number 2. So let's look at this final one. Okay, it looks quite horrific, but we're going to go through it in exactly the same way. First of all, identify a, b, and c. So a is the coefficient of x squared, so the 2k minus 3. b is the coefficient of x, so k. And C is whatever you've got left over. It's that whole thing there. So C is K minus 1. They've helpful, I've helpfully put it into a bracket to easily identify it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it will be in a bracket. So we're going to substitute these into the inequality. So we have B squared. So that's K squared. Minus 4 times A, which is 2K minus 3 times c, which is k minus 1. And that's going to be greater than 0. 
Now to go any further with that, you're going to have to expand the brackets. So I'm going to do this in stages. So I'm first of all going to expand the brackets here, rather than multiply through by minus 4 at the same time. So 2k times k, so 2k squared, 2k times minus 1, so minus 2k, then a minus 3k, so minus 5k altogether, and minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3. Now you can expand through, multiply it through the minus 4. So k squared minus 8k squared plus 20k minus 12 is greater than 0. So this becomes minus 7k squared plus 20k minus 12 is greater than 0. Okay. Now, in its current form, it's quite difficult to work with. So I'm going to multiply through by minus 1. And what happens when you multiply through by minus 1? It changes the direction of the inequality symbol. Okay? So I can change the sign of each of the elements, each of the terms, but I must make sure that the inequality symbol changes around as well. So 7k squared minus 20k plus 12 is less than 0. So let's try and factorise this. So I'd have a 7k, and I'd have to have a k there. Now I need two numbers that multiply together to make the 12. So it could be uh, 2 and 6, for example. And 7k times minus 2 is minus 14k. And then I need another 6k to take away. And so that's it factorised. So then sketch it. So that's going to be 6 over 7. And that's going to be 2. So 6 over 7 is less than 2. So that's where it crosses the k axis. So where is the parabola? below the k-axis this time, it's below it, between those two values. And so the solution is that k must be between 6 sevenths and 2, in order for this quadratic um, to have two distinct real roots. And that's how we can solve these types of problems.